here we go let's jump into game number one. Oh my god new graphics folks yep. it's, it feels so alive this is the playoffs, man. This, is the playoffs. this is an awesome environment as well you Whoa. know it's the height of season 10. <laughs> here we are let's go that's a purple start here with some lesion for demon kite and uh we can say it's about the same for onic philippines and now we also have this kind of a lineup for the side of oh. Onyx Philippines who wants to have a chance for their jungler, mainly for Sensui. We have seen him perform on this Minotaur last uh, regular season, right? This is, uh, you know, I want to answer a question, but I was really interested as to how RSU will deal with the Grok block done by Onyx. They oh, did no. that. Uh, they did a wonderful job of taking the minion. Whoa, whoa. Onyx. Run, Dylan! Nah, I safe. He's safe. He's, he's still safe. I, I love the way that RZ played that. They didn't. Uh, they they didn't wait for Onik to clear the wave. They man fight. Uh, they man fought against Onik mm -hmm. just to make sure that uh, Aqua gets level two on the right timing. Yeah, and also what we're seeing here is they're trying to delay RZ Philippines on how to get that damage in for Demon Kite. So you're right here. Demon Kite onto the um, the Demon Slayer emblem, oh. so it, it gives them so much chance here against Onik Philippines. Rabidut is just giving good vision for Onyx Philippines right now, knowing that Demon Kite is going to be busy going around taking some camps. Oh, man. We have seen some Grok's fumble in the later weeks of uh, Season 10, but so far, Rapidut oh, seems to be on point. Yeah, Demon Kite is trying to stick away. Oh. Rapidut flickers out for safety, but Light is always on point on how to, de how to have vision for RSG Philippines to yeah. not destroy momentum for Demon Kite. And again, I love the way how RSG has been playing this early game. You keep on putting that pressure onto Rapid Auto. He doesn't provide any sort, any sort of help for mm -hmm. his teammates. And that allows RSG to just move around the map completely. And Eman has been untouched for this. Oh, oh, right away, the damage with a knockoff. That's two man that going back down. We're of the RSG. is the first turtle, but the target here is going to be even Kite. Sensuis goes back for Deacon's Demon Kite. For H, you drop it low. Oh. Rapid takes the first skill on this first objective. But it won't matter. Rabbit is using forward damage here in the counter. But Aqua is going to still go going for the chase. There's three members going to be oh. low. Target of being four for damage. Nat is not getting away. And that is one thing to secure a kill. That's, two for RSG Philippines. That's a slobber knocker. About two minutes into the game, the turtle was left for naught. And Onyx Philippines, maybe short, maybe short a little bit of damage that could have been a clear win. Yeah, Demon Kite played that fight beautifully, even though he died. It was a it was a very good play coming out from Rabido with the Guardian's barrier, putting the putting enough damage to slay down the Karina, but RSG, they knew at that moment they wanted to fight. And this is the perfect time to do so, because you need to protect the uh, the farming time of Eman, not with defensive plays, but aggressive plays coming out from RSG. Look at that, Demon Kite is, is he trying to take this turtle? Yes, he is! And this is the battle on the Philippines is trying to get a setup here, but that's oh! a three-man knockup right away from Sensui. Demon Kite with a counter kill. Now it's gonna be wrapping right, it's gonna be back away, but RSG Philippines securing the perimeter here with a take of a kill and the objective. Round two, not the same here. Maybe third time's a charm. You can see how Onyx Philippines is super reliant on those cooldowns. Oh, that was crazy light with the frigid breath. Yeah. He stops Sensui from casting that retribution onto the turtle. Timed it perfectly, and RSG takes turtle away from Onyx. You know, Onyx, they've been really phenomenal in terms of taking objectives, but you are against one of the fundamental, most fundamental and objective-based gameplay, uh, game-playing team here in MPLPH and RSG. They know the right timings. They know how to, uh, you know, how to stop whatever trade is coming out from the side of Onyx Philippines. And I, I just love the idea that goes behind the plays that RSG has been doing for the first few minutes of this game. Look at how they control the map oh. right now. That is just light hooking one from the side of Onyx Philippines. Another knockoff, two jumps out, but that is still going no to be damage. light. What is, where is the damage? It's still going to be a counter vision play for Onyx Philippines and RSG, but when you back away. Oh man, much like Ooh. the song, <laughs> much like the song by Ariana Grande and Nathan Sykes, almost is never enough. enough. Three times now, three times that could have been a huge win for Onyx. And again, this might be Panda. Uh, oh, hold that thought, Sensui. Oh, Riyadh is going to scratch Nats back right here. But that's the block from Demon Kite. There's no entrance for the Swining Demon here. Going to counter this or go probably contest Ooh, this orange. Demon Look Kite. Damage from Demon Kite. It's going to be true damage. Connect to Rapidu here. Ejected state. Going in for Sensui. He'll be stunned one. That's a follow-up from Aqua. Feathered airstrike going to be dropping down from the heavens. And oh. that's Sensui going back away. Trying to dodge the fire. But RSG Philippines managed still to, to secure that camp.
Again, I don't know if it's uh, the uh, if it's RSG's fundamentals in at play, yeah. or is it just light and anger against Rapidon. RSG is just taking it out, taking it out against this Grok. Rapidon has now been allowed to play for the first four minutes of this game, and Demon Kite has been putting immense pressure on Sensui, and they get yet another objective. It's a clean take here. Second turtle going over to RSG. You know what, the way you put it, yes, I do notice that Light is just keeping tabs on Rapidon. It's almost a one-on-one, -on -one, a man-to-man -man defense. Wow, looks like RSG is making the kitchen hot here for Onyx. Oh yeah, not letting Rapidon get to his tools no. and his ingredients. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Of all the players, of all the players on Onyx Philippine side here, it's Rapidot who can take it. Yeah. yeah. If Rapidot dies over and over again, it's really not much of a blow. But that's a problem, because they had no choice. It's something that uh, they have answers for, but RSG, they're forcing, uh, they're making it so that Onyx, you have to do this. If you don't, we're just gonna slaughter everybody that we see. So Onyx Philippines, they're now forced to put uh, Rapidot on the front line, but the main issue is that they don't have any re-engage. Even if you say that there is the Cult Ultra coming out from the Promise, they don't have any sort of damage yep. to take down the tanky heroes on the side of RSG. Yep. And all the while, Airman has been farming in the cloud. Oh man, yeah, it doesn't quite count really. Uh, a cult altar these days, as seen in even the other MPL regions, really doesn't really cut it anymore. No, not even for a second chance because right now, Onyx Philippines, what they need is total time. Oh. They need time right now. Oh, oh no. look at that light. So when it's catch one again, it's gonna be the chef. Right now, Demon Kite. Oh, a good follow-up counter. That's Riona strategy in from Rapido. one. That's gonna be light. Dropping ah. down on HP. Grab the zero skills from light. But Demon Kite is gonna be back away. Oh. But one thing from behind is trying to secure <laughs> the super freeze. <laughs> secure the kill, and that is gonna be Aqua. Rapido falling down low. Demon Ooh. Kite. Rapido misses. He's still safe. That was a nasty barrier coming out from the Grok. Putting an end to RSG schemes. First mistake coming out from RSG, they committed on the wrong target. They wanted to take out Sensui. They didn't have enough damage, didn't have the uh, Feathered Airstrike, but the save was also there coming out from Super Finch with the Cult Altar, and he made sure that the um, Ninoan Sphere was able to land onto RSG and Rapidot with the flank. It was not it was not uh, Ryota, but it was Rapidot on the, ground, the Grok that made the flank against RSG. And funny thing is, the first kill that he got it was light. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it's just uh, a rivalry that seems to translate into in-game mechanics. And now here's a third turtle in contestion. And slowly but surely, I believe Onik is, is, is building something up. Chef Rabidot, despite a very hard he, and difficult early game, still cooking. He's still cooking something yeah, up here. He's just putting up some protection here for the side of Onik Philippines. They, they, they really want to get this turtle, but at cost, they could actually sacrifice one here from Onik Philippines if they want to, to contest this. Can they? Will they? Oh, Look at Rabidot. Knock up from Demon has been knocked up, but Sensui managed to secure that turtle finally for Onik Philippines. Holy cow! And now Rabidot is going to be back, back away for safety. But no, RSG did, did not contest that at all. That was a sort of awkward engagement for RSG. Rapidot was already on the front line, committed the wild charge. Even though Onik got the turtle, Minoan Sviri was, uh, you know, was casted. Super Prince, they still had the Cult Otter, but RSG could have engaged. They had everything that they need, the Federal Strike, the uh, Fatal Links, as well as the Blazing Duet. But I, 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 I just think that RSG, they thought to themselves that it's not the right time to fight. We need to wait for the proper timings. We just want Eman on a very good momentum, uh, a moment, momentum on this squad, get enough gold, get enough farm, so that when we transition towards that late game, the network is already massive on the side of RSG. Oh. Right now, they're holding a 3,000 gold uh, gold lead on the side of RSG, but they wanted to make it bigger. Oh, God. Oh. They're coming in, man. They're not making the jungle comfortable. And yeah. the thing is, this 3k gold lead, you can feel it. A majority of it might actually be on Eman. Yeah. And one thing that they, they're they're trying to uh, answer right now for Onyx Philippines. They need to upscale the capability of the damage that they can get from Nets. But on, ba on a Beatrix lineup, oh. oh, this could be trouble in getting that damage in yeah. inside of RSG. You saw that reaction from Robin. Yeah. He was like, oh, light's here. Just gonna pop the first kill to make sure that <laughs> I don't get, uh, you know, I don't get linked out by the Atlas. But I just want to say, Demon Kite has been losing a lot of retribution battles against Sensui. Sensui has been phenomenal with these retributions, even during the regular season. But hold that thought, Rapid Dot, though. No. Oh. They're trying just to push away. They're just trying to push away Onyx Philippines, on the other hand. The control of RSG Philippines right now and, and the gold, it's give, it gives them so much play. It, 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 it gives them an advantage to push some minions here. Man, looking at the way Nets is playing, again, y'all mentioned how it's he still needs to build up on that Beatrix. 
I'm starting to feel like it's uh, trying to plug in a floppy disk into a modern CPU. <laughs> it yeah. just doesn't work anymore. That I don't know what... Yeah, what even is, the slot doesn't exist. Yeah, what is Coach Bluffsy and Coach Jeff on right now? I've still yet to see the payoff on this Matrix. I mean, you want to be more aggressive on the side of Onyx, but I do understand what they're trying to do here. They have, they have enough damage on key heroes of RSG. Come the late game, Riora and Nets, if they get to a point where they have amassed a lot of damage output on their side, they can just completely take away Eman. That is one of the main ingredients for Onyx Philippines to win an engagement. You take out the Claude, you remove the Ooh. team fight from RSG. Okay, we're just feeling, we're speaking of uh, Nets earlier, he's getting some damage here, almost yes. half HP for Eman. Light. But since is gonna get an advantage for the vision. About? Okay. This is a very dangerous and uh, perilous Lord Dance. Okay, what's the pro what's the plan here for Task Force RSG? Oh! He still managed to take down two. That's a fair nice way complimentary damage, but Nets has taken down Woo! one. That's gonna be light aqua taking a ravage as well. An exchange of kills, but Sensui takes down the demon kite. Yeah, but right now, it's gonna be Evan, the target oh! of Super Frizz falls down, and Nats as well doesn't fall for a kill. No, 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 it's Ryota. He's not gonna let Nats get away. But that's still a slow. That was two to three. That was a good trade on all. Counts, I'm guessing you took out Eman, you took out Demon Kite, you took out Light. Those are main arteries that RSG Philippines had to concede. Yep, oh. Onyx, they're going to be happy with this. Even though they lost their jungler, Nets will be uh, on the roll for the next few minutes. Now we have the items here. The Wind of Nature is already built on the Beatrix, so that's going to protect him against the Claude. Eman does have a lot of gold on his, uh, on his inventory, but after that last skirmish, Beatrix is now up. Uh, against Eman yes. by 300 gold. So this Claude solution by RSG is not working at the moment. Again, this is because of the lack of aggression coming yeah. out from RSG that Onik, they were able to crawl their way back and pull off a recovery fight. And now they're up in the lead. Even though RSG is up by the gold in terms of team fight, yeah. again, if you completely remove the Claude, you get the advantage for Onik Philippines. Robert, is this the equivalent of holding on to your crypto for too long before yes, the crash? Daniel. Yeah. Is that what's happening here? That That's is. the truth. Hold, hold, hold. Oh no, it's crashing! No. It's just half uh, HP on the Lord right now. It's gonna right. be light. Man should be taking down one. What's the game plan? Nets taking down one, but Demon Kite is oh. gonna be targeting one. Oh no! What's the plan for RSG? It's gonna be death. Right now, Sensui still secures the lore, but Super Fist Master takes on one. That was Nats. Demon Kite on the counter kill as well. Ooh. And that's the sniper shot coming in from Nats, and it's on a killing spree. Managed to take down three from RSG. Holy cow! I don't care if you die taking the lore, you win the fight, you take three down, and you are pushing all lanes. Holy Onyx, cow. They're just Holy bluffing. Cow, they're bluffing. Are they bluffing? You know, this is the awkward part about the lineup of RSG. As much as you want to take the HPs away once the Cult Altar has been popped off, after you deplete the oh. HP, you don't deal damage to the heroes of Onyx Philippines. And again, Farza is all about that timing when you have to pop the Feathered Airstrike. It's, it has been awkward for Aqua for some few clashes now. The landing, the usage of the Feathered Airstrike has been dismantling the team fight of RSG. Because what do you use first? Do you use the Blazing Duet to remove the, uh, you know, the HPs on Onyx? But after that, once the, uh, then once the Cult Altar has expired, you have to time your Feathered Airstrike perfectly. But during those moments, Onyx Philippines are repositioning to go for the uh, team fight. They have the Wild Charge, they have the Minoan Fury, they still have the Beatrix dealing damage on the back line, uh, I mean, I mean the front line, and you also have to worry about Ryota standing on the back lines, making sure that there's there's no escape coming out from RSG. Yep, Onyx Philippines' sustain uh, based lineup has reached critical mass. They were just waiting for the right amount of damage and the right amount of items to get there. They conceded the first Lord, but uh, from then on, it was uh, all over. I I'd rather the first few main objectives. It's amazing how they came back, and now they're 3k ahead! Yeah, right now, Onyx Philippines just turning tables around. I love that you both of you mentioned that right now for RSG Philippines, they need to have the perfect timing, they need to have the perfect landing of those ultimates, because once it's gone, look how the defense is strong for Rabbit and Ryota, and even Sensui, they can even manage, okay, is that all? Here's the thing, Onyx Philippines, the way that they've, they've been playing right now, it's really good against RSG, but I want to commend Mets 
on the pitch. He oh, has yeah. always been on the back line. Yeah. He 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 never sees yeah. the front line of the action. RSG, nope. they have to do a lot of work just to be able to get a glimpse of that Beatrix standing on the back line. Oh, oh. there's a call. It's a conceal from Onyx Philippines with target here. But Light Max is well, in line. But now the counter of RSG. They're trapped in chaos and ambush goes in. And that is net sick in the mega kill. And that was one thing that Dander wasn't expected from Onyx Philippines. Again, that's the epitome of the uh, you know the team fight of RSG. Oh. Even if they catch Nets on the back line, it's awkward for them to engage. Only Forza has the access against the Matrix. But even if you consume the Cold Altar, you have to worry about the immunity that comes afterwards. Yeah. Not just, you also have the sustain on Sinsui. Yeah. I'm loving how Sinsui is playing because just in that team fight alone, as they took mid lane inhibitor, now making a beeline for the Lord, Onyx Philippines has showed that the first few team fights that they failed and flubbed and fumbled upon in what, the first seven, eight minutes of the game, yeah. were all just a setup for what's actually happening now. Yes, they are cooldown reliant, but that means the fight is up to them. They can engage when they want to, and they can pick when they go. Yeah, no one is still safe up with this fight, but how? Oh, oh. Onyx Philippines, look at that. Grab it with the first casualty here of Onyx Philippines. Was the game for Lightmares to catch one. But now Nets here, going from the back lines, targeting Eman. Is he taking down Eman? He's lowing, he's lowing down the HP of Eman, but the problem is, Demokai takes down Nets. Riona still matches oh. the back lines, but Demokai secures the low. And now RSG is in the left here to take one. It's Sensui here going to be dropping down from the HP. Look at that. You can hear the screams. It's still Riona managing to hold off. Onyx Philippines for safety back to the base. RSG Philippines overloaded Riota. I've never seen a Masha so confused in season 10. <laughs> you know, the way you play Masha, there's only one target. Riona was like, where do I go? How do we fight in RSG? I, 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 what do I do? I, 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 where do I, 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 RSG. Yeah. Where? They just, how? That's yeah. a, that's exactly what happened. Eman, he was like, okay, I'm gonna hit Rapidot. The the the, the, the first error, Rapidot reacted. He yeah. used the wild charge towards that Claude. Didn't even know that there, there was a BMI no one waiting home. on the back line. No one home. It was Rapidot, no way home. Oh. Just imagine the trilogy they had. they're doing right now, saving this game, RSG Philippines. I can feel the pressure right now, getting the first point in momentum against Onyx Philippines, but oh. it's still, it's still, it's still the best game. That's, yeah, so. a, that's a good inhibitor defense for top and bot, uh, but uh, not the same you could say for, uh, rather, top and mid. Uh, bottom lane was taken down handily by Nats. That is one weakness, one glaring weakness Onyx PH has. They have abysmal in base Ooh. defense. It's so hard. You don't have a, an EVE or a Farsa equivalent. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. have to win the team fight before you do anything. Yeah. So they need to correct those mistakes early on, but how rapid it managed to react. So now it's going to get really scary on the lineup of RSG Philippines. They have the time. They have the items midnight. Oh, okay. Demon Kite, you're going to where I don't want you to go. You're grinding my gears. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, I see something there. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a truncheon. <laughs> I don't That's got to be a truncheon. Uh, well, truncheon might be just a holy crystal. I don't know. <laughs> just a random <laughs> crystal. <laughs> Put yeah. enough damage on the side of RSG. Because the main concern that you have here for RSG is that, yes, you have an ample amount of damage output, but the usage. That is the issue, uh, that is where the issue lies. Like again, the interaction between the uh, Fatal Links, uh, I mean the Occult Altar, uh, uh, against the Blazing Duet and Fatal Airstrike, you have to time that perfectly. So there needs to be another layer of damage coming off from RSG that forces out the reaction from Onyx Philippines. Now, what Onyx PH has to do, uh, you know, is to keep protecting Nets. They don't have to engage themselves like what Rapido did earlier. They just have to make sure that Nets is covered all throughout the skirmishes because there's an ample amount of damage on the Beatrix. You already have the DHS and the 100 Strike for added mobility to uh, you know walk against RSG. Whoa. So you just have to be worried about the skills that might get land on your gold laner. And that's what's scaring me about Nets. He is not rocking any mortality. He's relying clearly on the front line, the yeah. peel. And the cult altar. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a there's glaring. There's no safety net. Yeah, there's a, there's a glaring out of the way. They managed to catch down three. Line is going to be a man here for Onyx Philippines. And what's happening here right now? It's going to be RSG Philippines backing down again. But what's the fight? They're coming in. Onyx Philippines still managed to secure the hold the line. But that's just taken down Sensui. What is happening here for Onyx Philippines? They're fighting back. But that's still going back for safety. Immortality has been popped. RSG. Still going for the defense back in the base. What a trade. Light is almost as important as Sensui, dare I say. 
and the young Dylan Katipon, MSC champion, season 9 champion, MVP is doing so much. And the fact that he's so easily found out by Onik might be the deal breaker, especially in this Lord Dance. Yeah, the deal breaker right now is going to be RSG and Onik Philippines, who's going to be here, the first team to take the second Lord once again for the push. Because as you can see, the base here for RSG Philippines is not looking good. They need this. They want this Lord for the push. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. There, there's no, no way. No, no, no. no. Take it. Gone. It's going to be... Aqua secures the Lord, and here comes action here from Emma. Taking down Ryota, melting down their oh, HP. Nets, oh, nets, look at that! Nets, look at that! Nets, nets, oh nets, my nets. gosh! Look here at the base! Goes. The base is no. on the base! Nets Not is again. on the base! Nets! It's fine. They're okay. They live to tell the tale, ladies and gentlemen. Not like this. RSG Philippines going for the clap back. What is happening here? Sensui is going to be the target here for RSG Philippines. Are they fighting back? They're trying to split, but Onik Philippines right now going to the defense at the base. Oh no. Folks, there are machinations. There are schemes. There is skullduggery afoot. But Nets was denied that. It's not going to happen in the playoffs. It's over. RSGPH takes game one. Oh, folks, that was a heart-stopping and goosebumps filling last few moments. I, I could have sworn, I could have sworn Nets was going to do it all over again.